Hello, I'm Craig Pickett. I'm the Technical Education Manager here at the Whitmix Corporation. And I want to talk to you just for a moment about a main maintenance issue for the VPM2 vacuum mixer. Many times in our rush as technicians to get a lot done, we put a little too much inside one of these mixing bowls. There is a max fill line, this is a powder line, uh, on every bowl, and we shouldn't extend beyond that. If we do, we run the risk of having the mix, or the water, pulled right up into the vacuum machine. Now, the old machines, you could see it going up the tube and you knew immediately. But now that we use a machine that uses the vacuum to hold the bowl, we don't really see it. So let's talk about what happens when that gets sucked up into the machine. In the throat of our machine here, we have a, a filter, a foam filter, that can be taken out either using an instrument or your fingers, kind of looks like a donut, and it helps us to trap anything that gets pulled through the vacuum hole in the lid and get caught in here. Now this filter should really be taken out once a week, washed out just like you would do a sponge, and set up on top of the machine and let dry before it's replaced. That will help to keep the airflow good through the filter. If you don't do that and material gets sucked up into the throat of the machine, it can plug up the vacuum and the machine will believe that it is pulling vacuum when it turns on, but you will not have a vacuum in your bowl. This will uh, be manifest to you by the fact that the bowl won't stay held up against the machine even when it's running. Now, sometimes you may experience a vacuum error where you don't have vacuum going on in the machine and we need to determine at that point whether it's the actual machine that's having a problem with vacuum or it's the seals or it's the bowl that's having a problem with vacuum. So in order to do that, uh, the first thing we want to do in all maintenance is to make sure everything is clean. Now that means that the seal here on your bowl is clean and free from gypsum or investment. That the top edge of your bowl is clean and free from gypsum or investment, allowing that seal to seal. And then remember that the vacuum in this machine is pulling against this lid. There's also a seal underneath the throat of the machine right here. It's a large rubber o-ring and it needs to be clean and free from gypsum or investment. Now once we have established that that's not the issue, then we want to see if the machine itself is having a problem. And in order to do that, we're going to lay the machine back on its back. All right, once you have the machine on its back, you want to remove the foam filter again and make sure that everything interior here in the throat of the machine is clean. You'll notice up here at about the 10 o'clock position that there's a small hole. That hole is where the vacuum is being pulled with this machine. Now in order to test to make sure that the vacuum is correct, we're going to start the machine on any program by pressing the start button and then placing our finger over that hole, you should be able to hear the machine grab vacuum and go. Once it's pulled the vacuum inside the throat of the machine, you'll be able to see the drive system turning. Once you see that, then you'll know that everything's okay with your machine and the loss of vacuum has to either be from an O-ring that's not clean here or from an O-ring in your bowl that's not clean.